gravitational acceleration is the rate at which objects gain speed as they fall downwards. This can be approximated as being uniform near the surface of the Earth. By definition, it's always downwards, and it has a magnitude of approximately 9.8 meters per second squared. This acceleration is the same for all objects. In this experiment, you are going to measure out standard heights from the floor. Then, you are going to take a given object, hold its bottom at the measured height, and then drop it. You need to measure the time from the start of the drop to when the object hits the floor. You need to make multiple measurements and then average the result. Assuming acceleration to be constant, you can use the kinematic equation for free fall to calculate an experimental value for g. Here are the algebraic steps for the derivation. Here are example values to plug in with units. The end result is not accurate, so you will need to think about sources of error. The treatment of these errors will be discussed in a different video. Here is an alternate way of deducing g using your measurements from all of the heights you have experimented with. First, you need to calculate the final velocity using the kinematic formulas that assume constant acceleration. Remember, the negative sign is the direction. Next, you will need to calculate this final velocity for each of the experimental drop heights. Here are some examples. Then, you will need to graph this velocity versus the measured time averages 
and then calculate a best fit line. The slope of this line will give you the value of g in meters per second squared. The results of the slope and the intercept both can reveal systematic sources of error. If your results do not agree with the theory, you may want to think about ways of how to revise the experiment to give more accurate results.